With the way that 2020 has gone, it can be hard to remember everything that has happened this year, but this has been a groundbreaking year for historical events. While there have been far too many to name, here is a list of the top 10 events from 2020 that will go down in history. Number 10. The East African Locust Plague while this didn't make a lot of headlines in the United States, much of East Africa, and even in southwestern and southern Asia, were plagued by numerous swarms of locusts affecting dozens of countries from Kenya to Ethiopia, and even up through Saudi Arabia to Pakistan. In Kenya, one of the countries hit hardest by the locust plague, this was the worst swarm they had seen in 70 years. The plague actually first began in December of 2019 but came to full fruition in the early parts of 2020, and has continued to cause destruction even into the closing of 2020. Even though we don't know the exact number of locusts, a single swarm of locusts can grow to up to 70 billion insects, able to cover the entirety of New York City and destroy 300 million pounds of crops in just one day. Because of the locust plague, the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization estimated earlier this year that up to 25 million East Africans would suffer food shortages. While efforts to contain and stop the swarms have been put into effect since the beginning, the current pandemic, among other reasons, has made it incredibly difficult to successfully mount an attack on the locust plague. Number 9. The Hong Kong Protests while the Hong Kong protests got the most media coverage in 2019, they have been going strong since the year rolled around to 2020. In this year alone, there have been numerous updates to the Hong Kong protests, which began in March of 2019 over the Fugitive Offenders Amendment Bill, which was set to be passed by the Hong Kong government and would allow for Hong Kong residents to, ostensibly, be extradited to mainland China something many Hong Kong residents saw as undermining their individual freedoms and the autonomy of Hong Kong. In early 2020, with the COVID-19 pandemic, the protests temporarily subsided, but flared up again in May after the Chinese government made a decision to promulgate a national security law, which would effectively tie Hong Kong and China closer together, and as such has been seen as a threat to the one country, two systems principle that China and Hong Kong has maintained since Britain handed Hong Kong over to China in 1997. As of now, the protests don't appear to be coming to a close anytime soon, so it's very likely we will see a continuation of the confrontation between Hong Kong protesters and law enforcement. Number 8. The 2020 Beirut Explosion On August 4th, 2020, during the afternoon, an explosion rocked the port of Beirut. Lebanon's capital and largest city. Many shocking videos flooded the internet of people happening to be filming the flames or something else entirely when an explosion caught everyone off guard. The blast, one felt in all neighboring countries and parts of Europe, produced what is believed to be one of the most powerful man-made non-nuclear explosions ever produced, resulting from a large amount of ammonium nitrate that had been stored in the port for almost seven years and which had been confiscated off a Moldovan cargo ship, the explosion killed 204 people, injured over 7,500 more, displaced roughly 300,000 people, and has caused over 15 billion US dollars worth of damage. After the explosion, many Lebanese citizens protested against the government for the lack of transparency, and the part that they had played in not preventing the explosion exacerbating an already present civil unrest situation that has been continuing since 2019. Number 7. The Australian Bushfires Although beginning around September of 2019, the Australian bushfires continued into March of 2020, before they were all eventually brought under control. Heavy rains in mid-January and mid-February did allow for firefighters to contain much of the fire, in the end, the fires burned more than 46 million acres before being extinguished. Many thousands of homes and buildings were lost, as well as 34 people's lives directly and 445 indirectly, with some areas getting hit especially hard, such as New South Wales accounting for the majority of the deaths and building destruction, whereas the Northern Territory accounted for about one-third of the entire burned area. It is estimated that the fires caused around 78 billion US dollars worth of damage, 
and that as much as 80% of the Australian population was affected either directly or indirectly by the fires. Number 6. The UK Withdrawing from the European Union After the 2016 referendum ended with 52% of British voters deciding to leave the EU, the succeeding British and European leaders have struggled to find a solution for even a solid timeline for the UK to leave the European Union. Ultimately, the UK officially left the European Union on the 31st of January 2020 which began a transitionary period set to end on December 31st of 2020. Although the UK is still under EU law and is a part of the EU Customs Union and the Single Market, it is no longer a part of the EU's political bodies or any of its institutions. And this marked the most significant step for the UK finally leaving the European Union, beginning the final chapter of the long book that is the UK's efforts to leave the EU. Number 5. The Death of Qasem Soleimani On January 3, 2020, the United States military launched a drone strike near Baghdad International Airport, targeting top Iranian general Qasem Soleimani, considered by many to be one of the most powerful people in Iran, second only to the Ayatollah himself. Soleimani, the leader of Iran's Quds Force, an unconventional operations force that is a sort of combination of the CIA and Special Operations Forces, was targeted after tensions began to peak during the 2019-2020 Persian Gulf Crisis, which began following a series of attacks between the US and a local paramilitary group, which the US government alleged was orchestrated to attack by the Iranian government, and thus launched a drone strike that killed General Qasem Soleimani, as well as nine others. Both the Iranian and Iraqi governments condemned the attack, with the Iraqi government pushing to expel all foreign troops from its territory, and the Iranian government took a final step to reduce commitments to the 2015 international nuclear deal. Five days later, Iran launched a series of missiles at a US military base in Iraq, which, while killing no one, brought the two nations to the brink of war which only ceased to escalate further after the Iranian military shot down a Ukrainian passenger jet, mistaking it for a hostile missile in the midst of all the tension. The escalation of the crisis between Iran and America led to many on the internet believing that World War III was only moments away, and perhaps it was, but ultimately the tensions between the two nations calmed down to their normal level of intensity. Number 4. The 2020 Indian Farmers Strike Beginning on the 9th of August 2020, following a bill being passed by the Indian Parliament that many farmer unions argued was anti-farmer and would make it harder for them to sell their products, the protests started as local protests held by unions, primarily in Punjab. Around two months after the protests began, the farmers began a march on the nation's capital, New Delhi, which led to the use of water cannons and tear gas by law enforcement on the protesters. On the 26th of November, a national general strike was organized, reportedly leading to 250 million people to show their support for the farmers by striking for the entire day, which would make it the largest of its kind in history. As of late December, the protests have continued, with estimates showing that hundreds of thousands of farmers are converging on Delhi with the support of 50 different farmer unions. Number 3 the United States of America's 2020 presidential election. Following an incredibly tense year in US politics, including the impeachment of President Donald Trump by the House of Representatives and his acquittal by the Senate, the nomination of Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court, as well as Joe Biden's clinching of the Democratic Party's nomination over Bernie Sanders and others, the nation was steadily moving towards the referendum on President Donald Trump's first term in office. Ultimately, due to COVID-19's impact on election procedures and states allowing more individuals to vote by mail to avoid voting in person, it was not election night on November 3rd when it was truly known who had won the presidential election. It ultimately was Joe Biden that took the election several days later, with 306 electors versus Donald Trump's 232, something that has been continuously disputed to little avail by Donald Trump and his legal team as well as many leading Republican figures. The election itself broke many records as well, with Joe Biden receiving more votes than any other president in US history at over 81 million votes, 
and Donald Trump receiving the second most votes at over 74 million, both of them beating out Barack Obama's previous record from 2008 of 69.5 million votes, also leading to the largest voter turnout rate since 1900. Number 2. The 2020 Black Lives Matter Protests Dubbed by some as the George Floyd protests after George Floyd, who was killed by a police officer in Minneapolis, Minnesota on May 25, 2020, the goal of the protests sometimes varied by location, but largely were focused on ending institutional racism, police brutality, and increasing police accountability. Protests began in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area before quickly spreading to over 2,000 cities and towns across over 60 different countries, with some protests, particularly those in the United States, escalating further as protesters clashed with law enforcement who were often armed with riot gear. Many statues depicting slave traders, slaveholders, or confederate leaders were also taken down, either by local governments or the protesters in various cities and countries around the world. It's believed that in the US alone, somewhere between 15 million and 26 million people participated in the Black Lives Matter protests over the summer, making them the largest protests in US history. Large-scale protests continued into the fall, and smaller-scale protests as well as more individual activism work has continued even after the largest protests finally concluded. Number 1. The COVID-19 Pandemic No surprises here, but it is the COVID-19 pandemic which began in late 2019 in Wuhan, China but became exponentially more impactful in 2020 that has become the most impactful event of the entire year causing every other event since it gripped the world to somehow be affected by it. Now up to over 77 million cases and over 1.7 million deaths and counting across the entire world as of late December, the pandemic has led many countries, particularly the United States, which was hit very hard and quickly by the virus, to put a close eye on how its healthcare and social systems function as the pandemic has aggressively forced nations to close down their economies, implement rules and regulations for general safety, and produce unprecedented numbers of protective materials, both for the general populace and healthcare workers. Along with it being the worst pandemic since the Spanish flu pandemic of 2018, the pandemic has also led to incredible social unrest, the worst global recession since the Great Depression, xenophobia and discrimination to people of East Asian and specifically Chinese descent, and unprecedented levels of misinformation. Although there were many other events that happened in 2020 and they certainly all had an impact on the people involved with them, there is no event that will be as historically significant from this year as the COVID-19 pandemic. I know this year has seemed to drag on forever and there's no telling what 2021 will bring, but as 2020 comes to a close, it's fitting for us to remember everything that happened during it, not just what felt like the overarching theme of every day. If there were any events that you would have liked to have seen, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe and ring the bell to see more of my content, and if you're interested, both my Twitter and Patreon will be on the screen and in the description. Thank you very much for watching, this has been Historical Hindsight, and I will be seeing you soon.